Thank you very much to my friend and the gentleman from Georgia, Andrew Clyde, for putting this together. Madam Speaker, I want to begin this evening by thanking my Democrat colleagues for their outstanding work in encouraging millions of Americans to celebrate their Second Amendment rights by purchasing their first, second, or even 100th firearm. I have mortars, bazookas, tanks, half-tracks, attack jeeps, flamethrowers. From the left's riots in cities across America to Biden's threats to strip away our basic constitutional rights, Democrats are single-handedly responsible for the sale of tens of millions of firearms. Bravo. Well done. <laughs> and I hear that the interest has begun to peak when it comes to the sale of F-15s. This gives me a hard on. Don't tease me. Now, I have some questions for these freedom haters. When are you going to ca call on the chief executive, the basement dweller, to hold his own son accountable for his gun crimes? Hunter Biden lied on a federal firearms application, which is punishable by up to 10 years and a $250,000 fine, of which 10% will not be going to the big guy. Let's go, Brandon. I yeah. agree. Rules for thee, but not for my crackhead, Parmesan-smoking, gun criminal son. He'd probably smoke more Parmesan cheese than anyone. What about the, disposable, the disposal of Hunter Biden's gun in a back alley dumpster? And why was the Secret Service involved in locating this firearm? Can you just imagine for half a second if Donald Trump Jr was involved in firearms crimes, and his dad ordered the Secret Service to cover it up? That's just the start of the hypocrisy. Biden will call widely purchased firearms weapons of war, but then he'll tell you that you need an F-15 or a nuke to keep the federal government in check. He will target so-called merchants of death, but celebrate the 600 abortion clinics across America. This reg regime will encourage riots, defund the police, and try to take away Americans' right to self-defense. Madam Speaker, the American people are not on board with the Biden regime's hypocritical gun crabbing. Instead, they are buying guns at a record rate. So my colleagues from the other side, they can keep running their mouths, and we We'll keep adding to our arsenals. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. So, yeah, it's Lauren Boebert, based Boebert, right? She's going to town on the House floor. She's giving a great barn burner of a speech. She's talking about Democrats increasing gun sales in America. It's funny. It's hilarious. Then she calls on the basement dweller, Joe Biden, to lock up his own son. Hardy har har. Roasted. Boom roasted. Got him. What does she mean by that? I mean, r really, it, it would be like a funny, uh, good, like, zinger of a line if it weren't so uh, damned true, actually. Uh, here is an article from right-wing uh, conspiracy site Politico talking about how Hunter Biden had Secret Service agents try and impose their will on a gun store where he purchased a firearm illegally and then discarded it into a dumpster next to a school. Yup, that's, that's really what happened. And the president, uh, Joe Biden, who mules on day and night about gun criminals and the horrors of gun crime in America has yet to lock up his son, although that might change soon. Sources, Secret Service inserted itself into a case of Hunter Biden's gun. The bizarre incident involved a trash can, a man searching for recyclables, and eventually federal law enforcement. What's that about? On October 23rd, 2018, President Joe Biden's son and his daughter were involved in a bizarre incident in which Haley, who's the widow of his dead brother, great family here, really, top-tier family. So you bang your dead brother's widow. She took his gun and threw it in a trash, hand, trash can next to a school. Delaware police began investigating and concerned that the trash can was across from a high school. The missing gun be used in a crime, right? In the school. I mean, come on, man. 
This is according to a police report. But a curious thing happened. The Secret Service agents approached the owner of the store where Hunter bought the gun and asked to take the paperwork involving the sale, according to two people of whom had firsthand knowledge. So first off, why is the Secret Service agents guarding Hunter Biden in 2018? What the hell is that about? He, his dad wasn't, I mean, his dad like, w w wasn't holding any position at the time. I don't know of a single Biden that held an elected position at the time, but certainly none of which would have Secret Service detail. I'm very close with the former Trump administration officials. None of those people have Secret Service detail. None of their kids, none of the vice president, Mike Pence's kid uh, or kids don't, I think he has two, don't, don't have Secret Service detail. What the hell is going on here? Curious thing happened. The Secret Service tried to shake down the gun store where Hunter Biden bought his gun. The gun store owner refused to supply the paperwork, suspecting that the Secret Service officers wanted to hide Hunter's ownership of the missing gun in the case, where it was believed to be involved in a crime. Two people said, and the crime was also, of course, the paperwork that Hunter Biden would have to file for this firearm. You see, you have to fill out a federal NICS form, a federal form that asks a ton of very invasive questions about you, your personal life, where you come from, what you do, where you live, who you love. I mean, you could argue that there shouldn't be any form like that, but that's a different argument. There is. And if you lie on that form, then you got to spend 15 years in prison. The ATF admits that. Members of the Biden administration admit that. People all around the country say that. And, and then there's many responsible gun owners that are in favor of that, quite frankly. Myself being one of them, arguably, um, because actually you don't want a bunch of like crackheads having guns. You don't want a bunch of uh, criminals or felons or people having guns. Like that's, those, those are the questions that they ask, right? About drug abuse, about past criminal history. You don't want to supply those people with, with an arsenal. So Hunter Biden lied on that form because that form directly asked specific questions about drug use. And Hunter Biden was, at, based on his own admission, a crackhead at the time. The allegation in, in the alleged involvement of the Secret Service remains a mystery. One law enforcement official said that at the time of the incident, individual Secret Service agents uh, at the agency's office in Wilmington, Delaware, and Philadelphia kept an in informal hand in maintaining the former vice president's security. Why? The person cited an instance in 2019 when the Wilmington office of Secret Service called the Delaware State Police to arrange security for a public appearance by Biden. But this is his son. This isn't Biden. This is Hunter. The Secret Service declined to answer questions about whether it had an informal involvement in Biden's security during the period. Asked whether the Secret Service requested state police security for Biden during the period when he was not under the agency's protection, the Delaware State Police spokesperson said, I have reached out to our sergeant who oversees executive protection unit. He's unaware of any such request. Any involvement by the Secret Service on behalf of the Biden family or its own uh, or on its own initiative would be inappropriate interference in an incident that was already being investigated by the Delaware State Police and involvement by the FBI. Politico obtained copies of the firearm transaction record in receipt dated October 12th, 2018. Hunter responded no to the question that says, are you unlawful user of addicted to marijuana, depressant, stimulus, narcotic drug, or any controlled substance? Five years earlier, he had been discharged from the Navy for testing positive for cocaine. He had family members have spoken about his history of drug use. He's also admitted that he was on drugs at this time. Lying on the form is a felony, though prosecutions for it are exceedingly rare. So he lied and he belongs in prison. And that's one of the things that they plan on charging him with uh, accordingly. DOJ Neer's decision charging Hunter Biden with tax gun crimes report. Prosecutors are close to a final decision as to whether to charge uh, Biden with a tax or a gun crime. So that's important. This is important context when you hear gun crime. And it's also important to note, like, this isn't just, this isn't just, there it is. There's the actual, you can't have the actual gun. Great trigger discipline there, Hunter. If you look through Hunter Biden's videos on his laptop, there is no, uh, no trigger discipline to be found in, in many regards. Uh, it is unclear how Hunter's abandoned laptop aided the probe after the FBI seized the drive in 2019. Yeah. So it's been five years since the FBI got his hand on this laptop. Hunter Biden has photos with him unlawfully wielding a weapon. Looks like it's loaded too and cocked. So that's a great, that's a great thing. But this guy's not in prison. Lauren Boebert called him out on it. God bless her. It's your boy, Benny. See ya.